All right, this Commonwealth League and Football Training Camp Report is brought to you by Aria Health. Marty? Hey, we're with Wyatt McLeod here. We're going to talk uh, 2013 Commonwealth League and Football. Uh, a little bit about uh, your defensive end position and the fact that uh, you're going to move over and play a little offense this year, too, which is going to be exciting for you because uh, you know you got Mike Galley throwing the mm -hmm. ball and the possibility of you hauling some down and doing some damage on the offensive side has got to be fun for you. Yeah, it's definitely a good experience being able to have a good quarterback to throw to you and knowing that he's going to throw, uh, throw it to you and you're not going to lay out the drive and you're going to be able to run in the field and knock someone over. <laughs> well, you also, in Coach Techman's offense, you, you're going to do some blocking. Mm -hmm, yeah. and, and they're going to expect you to work, not only catch the ball, but block like an offensive tackle mm -hmm. in some cases. How are you feeling in that transition? It feels really good to be able to block someone down the field, get some pancakes. I mean, I like, I like being able to work. I, my mentality is to work real hard. And that's what I do every play, and that's what everyone on the line does is every play. Well, I know I've, I've seen you, and I think I mentioned I saw you prior to you arriving at Egan. You, you kind of looked to me a little tall and thin, and, of course, that was as a freshman and sophomore. Mm -hmm. You've grown a little bit since last year. How many pounds do you think you've put on? I mean, since last year, I've put on about 25, 30 pounds. I mean, two of these kind of took five pounds away, but I've slowly gained it back, and, I mean, it feels good to be, able to be heavier and be a stronger person. Now, I know you've, you've worked out hard. You put on a little weight. How do you feel your your speed and your quickness remain? I feel that actually my speed and quickness has actually gotten better. I've been a lot quicker off the ball in my reaction time. I've been watching the ball. I've been watching film and just be able to get off the ball quickly. Very good, very good. Now, we talked to the other boys about this, too, the fact that uh, – you get to go on the bus this week and go down to Ocean City mm -hmm. and open up against uh, the Lansdale Catholic. Uh, they're a little bigger school now. Mm -hmm. They used to be in the same division, double A with you. Now they're three A. Uh, and I know it's a step up and a challenge, especially right out of the blocks. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually you're going to play a few, um, you know, uh, non-league type games. This, mm -hmm. even though they aren't in your division, it's kind of a league game. What are you guys looking forward to, or what are you expecting from Lansdale? I mean, we're looking forward for a really good game. We think it's going to be, if not if not a big game, it's going to be a really close game. It's going to be hard work. All our hard work this season is for them. That game is what we're all looking forward to. Since the last snap of Truman, that's what we've been waiting for. Well, yeah, and it's a shame. I mean, that kind of ended on a sour note. A great mm -hmm. ball game. We did the ball game. We really enjoyed it. I went to Conwell Egan. When it was Bishop Egan, I didn't really enjoy the ending. But, uh, hey, I was happy for you guys. You got six wins last year. I know you hope to build on that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, and I know Coach Techman mentioned it, and I've seen it mentioned in other articles, the front seven on defense is, is looking and shaping up very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got some new guys that are going to be playing in tackle. you got some other guys coming back, and your linebackers are, are, are in a good situation with Joey Ruggiero and Rich Turchie. So how are you feeling about that front seven? I think the front seven is awesome. I think it's dominant this year. I think every single lift and every single sprint that we put into work this year, at, like training and in the weight room, I think that was that was just for the front seven, and we were in there working so hard and just so we were so dedicated this season that I think it's going to pay off. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You guys have a nice senior group, uh, nine guys. We talked about it a little bit earlier. I know that you're going to want to bring the young guys along with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the senior's responsibility. So we wish you good luck. And uh, I hope, like heck, that I can talk to you after after the game and some wins this year. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.